Resident Evil 3 remake now looming over the horizon, we have brand new information for a brand new Resident Evil game titled Resident Evil 8 that is potentially scheduled to be released for the next gen consoles on top of the new information provided by BloodyDisgusting.com which details brand new leaks for the upcoming Resident Evil 8 video game which a lot of people within the Resident Evil and horror community are seemingly enough very excited for because with all of the latest rumors surrounding the title itself, it would appear that Resident Evil 8 is actually going to be going back to its original survival horror roots just as we've seen be done with RE2, RE3, RE4, and even arguably borrowing elements from Resident Evil 7 to create what is supposed to be labeled as now one of the absolute scariest and best Resident Evil games of its time, and courtesy of BloodyDisgusting.com, the following Resident Evil 8 leaks goes as follows. Number 1. Ethan will be returning as a playable character from Resident Evil 7, as of course rumors about Ethan coming back had been swirling now for quite some time ever since the release of Resident Evil 7, people have been wondering if we're going to be seeing Ethan return in some way, shape, or form, and based on the leaks provided by Bloody Disgusting and Residents of Evil, it would also appear that Resident Evil 8 was in fact tested last year. Now, there are conflicting rumors about the Resident Evil 8 title that it might in fact actually have a quote clever title, but either way, the game will also be in first person just like Resident Evil 7, so if you're wondering if we're going to be getting a fixed over the shoulder camera angle like we've seen in RE2 and RE3's remake, then it would appear based on these leaks that we aren't going to be getting that, but instead, they're going to be going down the traditional route of keeping it the same as Resident Evil 7, just to further put things in perspective in allowing the game to feel different. Also, the gameplay of the game initially starts in a village that leads up to a castle, which really gives me Resident Evil 4 vibes in the fact that we're going to be starting off in this remote village that possibly might be Europe, and the environment in this game, unlike what we've seen in RE4, is supposed to be and labeled as rural, very snowy, and possesses lots of mountainous areas. So, as we've seen be done in Resident Evil 4 by us going into these villages and all of these rural areas that were really dry and really dark in certain places, but here, rather it being kind of dry and dark, we have a different kind of atmosphere to where it feels snowy, it feels dense, and once more, it feels very rural, and we also have the surprise return of regular zombies replacing the mold from RE7, and that is something that a lot of people really did not like about Resident Evil 7 is the fact that we had these mold creatures that really didn't serve a purpose, I would say, because there was no development as to what they were, how they evolved, where they came from, but instead, we're going to be getting the return of regular zombies, except this time, they're going to be amplified a bit more, so there are conflicting reports going around suggesting that these regular zombies will also be ones that are able to walk and also able to run at the same time, so we're going to have the possibility of having two types of different zombies come at you, ones that are seemingly slow and walk towards you while the other are going to be like 28 days later zombies where they're going to be hunting you in packs and just trying to chase you down. So that feels different, but also we have leaks going around that Chris Redfield will also be returning in some capacity to the game. So we've seen Chris Redfield at the end of Resident Evil 7, so that only makes sense to see Chris come back. But on top of the regular zombies, we're also going to be getting, and I quote, werewolf-like creatures that will attack the player in certain areas. So yes, werewolves, or at least werewolf type of creatures that are going to be introduced in this game that are going to be genetically involved somehow by the virus that's going to be introduced or whatever narrative they're trying to push here. So on top of that, we're also going to be getting a quote, persistent shadowy female enemy that will follow you but will dissipate you if shot. So it's interesting if you encounter this person and end up engaging her because if you do, you're only going to be furthering your own death because she's able to quote, dissipate you if shot. So these are the early rumors for Resident Evil 8, guys. I wanna hear your thoughts and opinions on them if you guys find these reports to be accurate in the fact that it suits your narrative for what you want to see in a Resident Evil game. And I also want to know your thoughts on Chris coming back, having Ethan coming back, having the game take place from a first person kind of perspective, and having the regular zombies come back on top of werewolf-like creatures. I think that that's a little different, and I think that it's ultimately very unique in the fact that they're trying to push and do something different here, but again, 
I will be keeping you guys up to date and informed with all things Resident Evil 8 related on the channel, so I do encourage you guys to hit that subscribe button, and more importantly, give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are simply stoked, ready, and excited to see all of this go down for Resident Evil 8, because it's been quite some time since Resident Evil 7, and what better time to introduce a brand new Resident Evil game than with the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox console. So again, thank you all so much for your time. Drop your thoughts and your predictions as to what you're expecting in the game down below, and I'll be seeing you all down in the comments, guys. Take it easy. Peace.